Welcome to Date with Danu, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today on the show, I have uh, Pete Wrights once again. Apparently, they have even shared the same room for the longest time. They are blood brothers on stage and off stage. We're going to speak about their friendship and so much more. I'm happy to have Ishwag Wahab and Mario De Souza on Date with Danu. Hi, my name is Ishraq Wahab. I'm director of Bullion Exchange Dwellers and I'm also a race car driver and I'm excited to be here on a date with Danu. Hi, my name is Mario De Souza and I'm a creative director by profession. But actually I'd rather eat, sing, act or travel but no one's willing to pay me for these things. Uh, and I'm here to do something that Danu's always wanted which is to go on a date with me. <laughs> So something quite interesting, I don't know if a lot of people know that, but uh, Danu used to live down the lane where I lived, which was Arathu Lane in Wellawatta, and I kind of picked him up on my way to school. So all the time that he and I were in school together, obviously Danu was a lot younger than me, so I kind of knew Danu when he was about this size, and then I left school and the next time I saw him, he was like somewhere up there. And that was, that completely shocked the living daylights out of me. <laughs> so Danu and I went to the same school, um, and he was again a few years younger to by himself and um, Danu's always been uh, a slightly chubby uh, little kid and he used to uh, walk around uh, college with a very sad expression. Now the chubbiness has still remained uh, but the expression has changed and uh, everyone who knows him is super proud of everything he's achieved um, and I'm no different. Um, so yeah, excited to be here and excited to have a chat with Danu. Are you comfortable with your legs up? I know. Then put it down. Okay. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> do I wait? <laughs> I fell into that, into that part. Okay. I think I'm more comfortable with my legs up. Wait, what, 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 what looks, more, looks more comfortable? Let's do the start. Yeah, let's okay. do the leg, leg up. Are we on? Ah, okay. So, <laughs> welcome to the show. I have Mario De Souza and Ishwak Wahab. Uh, thanks for being here. Um, no, I can't see your navel still. <laughs> you know Hang that on. I have shown my navel on this show so many times. None of my shirts ever fit me. Like, look at this. I'm like, it's a hat day. <laughs> it's an age thing. It's <laughs> no, not, not for you, for me. <laughs> uh, but I must say, you, you look the same. My plus the grey hair. Yeah, but thank but you. you have coloured it black, right, today? No, it's still, I'm still showing some grey. Yeah, you coloured it, right? Or shoe polish, one of the two. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, true, I knew it. Mario has let nature take its own time <laughs> and toll on him. Uh, Mario, today on this show, we will talk. It's we a, will, we it's, will. It's a speaking <laughs> show, okay? I was going to tell you, this probably will be your easiest interview ever. If we yeah. get talking, uh, you're going to be... Uh, no, 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 we will actually ask Push to uh, get a question yeah. in, but yeah. Now, to start things off, both of you are Pete Wrights. Uh, I have known them when I was an infant in school. I just want to know how did this friendship start? And you're not the same age, right? We are we the are. same age. Same. Really, Mario? Yeah. You're this ancient? Yeah. How did you end up with the friends who are younger than you then? Long, long story short. Uh, what? You had to pass exams to be in the same batch, <laughs> no, Danu. <laughs> yes. So it was how one many of those. did you fail? Like five? No, I got through my scholarship in year five. Uh, but then the O so levels Peter's were a bit never of a. had scholarship. We did. Ishraq was in the scholarship class. We were given an option. At, at that stage, Danu, at that stage, we were told that we were not smart enough to be with the smart kids. And that's the smart really kids were put into one class. Yeah, but you would have been in Among S1. the many issues in this country, that's one of yeah, them. Yeah, you would have been in S1 and were you in S6? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he is one of those nerds. He was, you know, you're a nerd. Okay, okay. Because at St. Peter's, they have these classes. S1 is like, you can get 40 and be the first in class. <laughs> and S6, you have to like take 100 for all to even be considered to be the first. <laughs> yeah, they break it into percentage after that. Which is quite fascinating. So what happened to you then? How many grades did you stay back? One. Just one? Oh. There's a story actually, I don't know if a lot of people know this story, but there was one year where I wasn't on the register at St. Peter's College, but I competed in everything that I could <laughs> compete in for St. Peter's College. But nobody knew that you were a part of the school? I wasn't, I wasn't on a register. Was that after the one it was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I finally got through, I went and told uh, the principal at the yeah. time, that I'm back, um, which class can I go to? And he said, go to the class that you want to go to. 
Wow. It's 20 years. It's 20 years ago. They can't, they can't do anything. They can't do anything now. I've yeah. never taken my leave-in certificate. Have y'all? I just did it uh, last year. But all the teachers who you might have studied under might not be there. Funnily enough, the, the teaching charge of lit Miss Mel. Yeah. She, she, she just retired. Yeah. Uh, she was just there. So yeah. I have no one there. Yeah. No one. Some are dead there as well. Yeah. No one asked now, me for my leaving certificate, so I had no yeah, reason to ask. I can now say like head prefect, vice president of this, <laughs> And just fake Father Felician's signature. Yes, <laughs> just fake it all and I'm sure I can make it. Anyway, so uh, let's speak a little bit about how this friendship started. Was it mostly on stage that you all became close? I think, uh, I think it was in the debating field that Maria and I right. became really close because... Were you the fourth speaker, Maria? No, I was the second speaker, no? You were the s you were when you, we you when used to rotate between second and third. I used to rotate then. Yeah, between <laughs> second and third, and and of course when Mario and I were in a two-man team, oh. uh, Mario would obviously be uh, the, the fourth speaker yeah, or the second the close, speaker yeah. at that time. But you spoke. Yeah. I spoke, but actually friendship with Ishraq, yes, it was around debating and drama, but we also Ishraq's house was also a little bit of a haven for us. Mm -hmm. Uh, it had I things that we didn't have. It like had a <laughs> lot of things we like didn't AC. have. AC. <laughs> so Ishraq's bedroom was air, air conditioned. Don't forget that, that video game. The video the game. The famous actually. video game. We didn't have video Which games. Ishraq had the latest video games. Yeah. No, I, I need to tell this story, Mario. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> so, so we're in the middle of the night and Mario's playing the Formula One game on the computer. And he's like, I'm in the lead. I'm in the lead. No one's, no one's in front of me. To see he was going around the track in the wrong direction. <laughs> That's how we, that's how much we knew about computers. <laughs> that's how much we knew. But also, auntie also fed us. There was also good food, yeah, as yeah. always at the Wahab household. True. The food was good. Uh, we could sneak a peek at uh, uncle's uh, yellow legacy. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There were cars. Yeah, oh my God. Cars, yeah. Yeah. That was everything that you need. Mm. Yeah. And it was close to Gaul Road. It was like close you to college, like so we could go all there. the way down the lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we can't even tell the address and like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell where he lives. Uh, but yeah, so um, if you didn't know, he is the, uh, right now he's heading a bullion exchange. Uh, you're not only, but. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. You can say that. Ah, okay. He's <laughs> <heading>. <laughs> he's, um, I asked him, did you bring any diamonds? He said, no, just his family jewels. <laughs> <laughs> it has produced enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are going to get into more, but right now we have something called Hot Seat. We'll see you after. Welcome back to the show. And so we have these questions that we want to ask you. Shrug, I'm going to start with you. It's your wife's birthday and you are unable to purchase anything from Bullion Exchange. Like it just is not there anymore. If in that case, what's your next go-to option? Abdeen Jewelers, Columbus Jewelry Store, TH. My friend's place. Which is? Is it in this list? No. Then can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't go home. Are you crazy? If so I don't take a gift for my wife, that's I fine. absolutely cannot go right, home. But who would you go to out of these three? Okay, all right. <laughs> oh. You scared me for a while. <laughs> that, was, that was a scary question. I know, I know. You know I you understood. It's a nightmare situation right yeah, there, Because I you have to I mean? agree, uh, actually Dima who works with us, uh, she did a bit of a profile search of you and she said, the first picture to the last picture of Ishraq on his profile pictures is with his wife. <laughs> is he abused at home? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no you're not, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. We've you're heard a lot about the, uh, those abusive relationships of ah, late, right. no? With certain yeah, snaps I know, and whatnot. I know. Terrible. So tell me. The three again. Abdeen Jewelers, Kalama Jewelry Store. They're that insignificant, yeah. he needs to hear them Kalama again. Kalama Jewelry Store. Kalama Jewelry Store, okay. <laughs> Caroline Jewelry was given her crown by Vogue and she was made the ambassador to Raja Jewelers. Which brand do you think she embodied the best? Which brand do you think she embodied? Is it Vogue or Raja? Uh, I think she embodied both of them brilliantly. Are you still talking about the jewelry or? Uh, no, I'm talking uh, about uh, uh, Caroline okay. Jewelry. Okay. Uh, but she lost her crown, right? Yeah. <laughs> just to clarify. No, she, she's still. <laughs> no, I'm just, just, just to clarify. She's still Mrs. World yeah. 2019. Mm -hmm. But the local crown, nobody gives, no man. Why not? We they, give. Yeah, you all give. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are searching for the next face for Bullion Exchange. Your options are Mervyn Silva, Pushpikadi Silva, Chandimal Jayasinghe, Pyumi Hansamali. Nyanaka, who would you choose? <clears throat> well, we can't search for a face because we don't have face on, on our advertisements. Right now, no? So but in this hypothetical if situation. If we were searching for a face, I would say uh, Mervyn Silva. Definitely, it'll sell well. Yeah. 
who would you choose from the above and who would you not choose ah, okay who would you not choose who would i not choose yeah you have chosen why then they're no. going to be angry with me that's okay that's the whole point that. careful how okay. you answer this so there could no, be curses no, no, no. coming over uh, so the other options are you yeah. have pushpika chandima pyumi and nyanaka yeah you lose either way chandima Ch- you'll not yeah it. okay yeah. with the campaign go home gota whose statement was worthy of a read the statements were made very like lukewarmish mahila jayawardana kumar sangakar baten santosh you want some water no i can't even i, I didn't <laughs> even read their statements how, how can i answer the question i would okay. i only know that mahila said something but somebody said that there were no balls left in his over <laughs> i swear to you yeah. that's that's all i saw on facebook that's all okay fine yeah. okay. if you could wake up as one of these following people who would you pick why would you pick them and what's the first thing and the last thing you'll do sajit premadas ajit nivad khabral basil rajapaksa johnston fernando if i could wake up the first thing the last day do you can do something great for this country as well oh yeah i know if i i would wake up at basil pack up all my bags of money and get the money as well huh you're packing up the money as well yeah. terrible man yeah. <laughs> come on if he was him yeah. yeah if i was him yeah. i'm not saying that i was just trying to say like if you were him you will like maybe leave the money back Oh, you want me to transfer my brain into him? Yeah, is it? It's up to you. Uh, you. <laughs> I didn't know it was a brain transfer. No, no, it's not that. Mario, to you, if you were to write a play about the current leaders in our country, and you were to pick the cast for the following characters, whom would you pick for the particular characters? Your characters are G R, B R, Sajit, Iraj. Your actors are Tracy Horsinger, Jehan Aloysius, Dominic Keller, Gehan Block. the four actors are equally versatile and far better human beings than all the other people I'm that you've just mentioned i'm only telling you to act so cast. so i'm i'm coming to it <laughs> honestly doesn't really matter they can all play anything the characters are so shallow that the actors will nail them easy it's true it's true it's true all four of them are don't try to be too scientific with these true, answers and then just leave me it's like true. all puzzled <laughs> if sex was the only currency available what 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 if sex ah. was the only currency oh, available oh no who would you choose for a transaction what right john amrutunga maitri palisiri sena dumin da silva pavitra vanyarachi who's the oldest out of the lot john probably john then do you know him no it just will last just shorter <laughs> 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 yes, they can mar things to stay on for a long time. <laughs> you know about John, right? There was John Amrutu who was a Pete right? It's not the same guy, right? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> We've had enough you enough of Pete. <laughs> We already have one. <laughs> It's enough. One of the one of the people you have shared the stage with who has been your favorite out of the following. Ishraq, mm-hmm. Shanuki Dialvis, mm-hmm. Dilruk Shifon Seka, uh <gasps> Devashree, Melanie Bibble. So I don't think we can leave me out. I won't be hurt. I don't think I've shared the stage with Devashree, but uh, you have acted I, with her, right? No, no, I don't ah, think you so. Um, okay, then we'll kick Devashree off. I, I'm, I'm not saying this because he's here, but probably Ishraq, because <sighs> all of those productions were in school, and there's a certain, you know, there's a certain feeling around productions at school. Yeah, that sweat smell. The sweat smell, yeah. you know. Plus we won. Plus we won a lot you know, of stuff. You know, you know when you win, it's not Everything. like when you do a public production. You know, you just get paid. But when you win, you kind of beat other people. Yeah, true. So the satisfaction. Also, this is yes. Sri Lanka. You don't get paid. Uh, yeah, sure. this is ninety-six. Sri Lanka, you don't get paid. Ninety-six <laughs> shakes, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> ninety-six shakes that you all won. Ninety-six shakes, ninety-seven royal intract, ninety-seven shakes. Come on. You all won ninety-six. Yeah, you yeah, won 96 and 97. 97. You won best in 97. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go there. Yeah. Mario, yes, in your sir. silk pajamas in the secret car named Desire, uh, who were you most appealing to? The audience or Jerome De Silva? <laughs> Why are you asking me that question? I'm asking you. You would have got feedback, no? I mean, probably audience. Okay. Probably audience. How do you handle compliments? Modestly. <laughs> well done. I think you struck your the winner. <laughs> yeah, I love to win.
Welcome back to the show. Uh, it's uh, Date with Danu. We are in conversation with Ishraq and Mario de Souza. Uh, you Ishraq. said they're like a married couple, like Ishraq and Mario de Souza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all have shared laptops, computers, <laughs> yes. and all types of things. So, uh, so that's fine. Uh, so I have known Ishraq for a long time, like since I came back from Jaffna. <laughs> like I've known him. <laughs> he happened to live on top of Arithusa Lane, and I used to live at the very end of Arithu Salen, uh, they used to drop me to school or take me to school. Uh, do you remember that? Of but course I, I, I remember. And Javid used to get late. And as soon as we get down from the car, you used to run and go and I was like, oh, see, it's going to fall, it's going <laughs> to fall. But you were always very morose. He ran? What? I ran. I had a time when I could run. <laughs> Danu, generally around college, has this, you know, like a droopy, a droopy expression. Now you had a very, like, your, your head would hang to a side and you're the glasses on and I was always like generally that. quite raggedy you know school bag kind of like hanging just past your butt and you just walk walk around the corridors almost like sweeping the floor with your with your expression I don't remember that no nobody has paid that, such that, attention that's, to me that yes. actually that's true I, true, I, true I had a miserable school time you know it's, it's, it's up until a certain point even mine was the same I think until I was 15 when I discovered drama and debating I was just like just going through the motions. Yeah. Pick up down in the morning. Go <laughs> take him to school. <laughs> Come back home in the evening. <laughs> have lunch. That was, yeah. that was what I was doing. Yeah. But it was just depressing, right? It was just a. Yeah. I hated school time. School was fun. I, and then, I know. For you. I yeah, y'all were the people who bullied people like me. No. Not you, him. Money. You should. Shame. You know Dilruk, right? Dilruk Jasing. Yeah. Dilruk Jasing has story. He's the only person I bullied in college, but actually. He bullied me. <laughs> he probably learned from me. Dilruk yeah. used to come to college. By the way, Dilruk Jaising is one of the biggest comedians right now in Aussie. He's doing so well. He has lost weight. Amazing. Amazing. He should, amazing he should work. thank uh, Mario no, no, for he bullying him. He doesn't <laughs> need to thank him. <laughs> but you know, re you remember we used to walk from college, the entrance to the canteen. Mm. And then it was a struggle to get from the canteen back into the enclosure because the crows would come for us. Yeah, yeah true. true. Dilruk had the crows and me to worry about. <laughs> so he would run in the quadrangle, in the primary quadrangle, he would run from tree to tree <laughs> and look for the crow and then look for me. <laughs> Just to save, uh, save himself. I know, we had some good times. Uh, Ishraq, let's speak about the jewellery business in Sri Lanka. Is mm. it going good? Y'all yeah. have always been a very silent jewellery brand. Like, we never hear about you guys. Yeah, we're like the James Bond of jewellery. Yeah. Well, no, uh, jewellery manufacturing, selling has been brilliant. The last two years, despite COVID, I think COVID may have even boosted our sales. People think how, why? Because a lot of the, the sales that people would take overseas yeah, has been coming to yeah. us. And, uh, it's been fantastic. You know, we've, of course, there have been certain challenges. We've had to... Uh, make bigger factories and enhance production which is always a good thing you know and uh, yeah it's been great it's been challenging but uh, yeah it's been fantastic and i i think i've really enjoyed the last two years but when it comes to the jewelry business there's always so much of you know competition mm. what has been the reason behind bullion exchange being one of those things where you know my mum came here so i'm coming here that situation has all generations have walked you know that that's true but also you you know if you keep saying that you're going to fall back. You know, people who say, you know, my mom came, so you should come, or my mom went, so I'm going to go. People who think like that, they're going to be left behind in the business. When, when my brothers and I came in, our mantra, along with our dad's support, was to innovate. We always need to innovate, and we need to be the best, the best in manufacturing, the best in pricing. You know, you can't just say, because her mother came, she's mm. going to come. You can't take that as a guarantee. Yeah. If you take that, you're going to fall behind. So, so I think we've had to kind of... Uh, reprogram our mentality a lot, you know, and I think that's been the key. Is it easy to take over business from your dad and have your own opinion on it? It's like this. It's very difficult to take it over from dad. I mean, he, he's not going to give it over. He, he's, he, and of course, you know, the, that's the bad part. The good part, he's done all the hard work. Mm. He's built the brand. He's built the name. He's got the customer base. He's got the location. He's got the factories up and running. Things that people will take for granted. True. So when you when you look at it like that, you know, it, it, there's just a few. Mi there are no minus points. It's all plus. Okay. Who is the easier brother to work with? Uh, or easier son for him to work with? Definitely not me. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. My dad and I always have always had loggerheads. You know, uh, he always said, you know, I was the stubborn guy, and I'm the one who always argue. I'm the one who always beat out a point till the end. 
uh, I think for my dad, my youngest brother is the calmest of the lot because mm. you know he's very religious and all yeah. this sort of thing. More religious than me. Not that I'm not religious, but I'm religious. <laughs> no, don't give me that look. <laughs> I don't give me that look. But I never doubted your religious view. Yeah. I don't know why you had to re-establish <laughs> that saying that you know I'm religious. Doesn't mean I'm not religious. Yeah. You're fine. You're religious. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, Javid, you know he's he's uh, he's Are a you calm guy. Today? Yeah, I am. Mm. But I think with bullion, it's also been about the the attention to detail and the exclusivity that you guys give people, right? Mm. They don't mass produce stuff, right? Every, not that I know I, anything I about this, right? Have but you been buying any jewels? <laughs> not at all, not at all. Time is coming. Look at me. Time is coming. <laughs> yeah. Time is coming. But yeah, you know. yeah, I mean, that's something that if you ever pop from the outside, you all set that impression of bullion exchange. Of course. Where else? I mean, you see it right here. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into a break. We'll see you right after. We'll sit around this table. Mario, you like to sing at any given time. Mm. Even now, if you can, you'll sing. No, I won't sing now. Then. No, you won't sing now. But if you are just seated there waiting for someone, you I just probably sing. will. I mean, I don't realize it, but a lot of people tell me that I hum. Yeah. A tune. You, you uh, just whistle hold the phone bit. up. Just hold the phone up. Why? Then he sings. <laughs> no, does he? What, the phone? No, man, you know, your, your videos during the lockdown. Ah, right? yes. They kept us going. They yeah, were, they were, good they were very nice. Yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. But yeah, I mean, that just started as, it was, a, I think, Christmas 2019 or 2020. When we were just at home. We had a lot of Zoom calls. We did. Yeah, you were not in it. No, I was not in it. No, but, but we, we had, were, we had but a different Zoom. We had Zoom. a different ah, Zoom yeah. call, which you That's were not. That's with your other batch. Yeah, the other batch. <laughs> yeah. This is with your failed batch. <laughs> It's good, it's good. <laughs> okay, so tell me about, uh, so Mario is in advertising and he has been for a long time. Um, you left Sri Lanka, why you were tired of advertising here? <laughs> Not at the time, oh. but I'm glad I did when I did. Uh, just you went to a country that's quite similar to what we're going through right now. Yes, yeah. and it's a little scary because I know what follows this S celebratory, you know, yeah. period so if people are not Myanmar. sort of You, you were working there for how many years? I was in Myanmar for about seven and a half years. I have visited you many times. <laughs> which you were supposed <laughs> yes. to, uh, which you never Something did. Something happens when bomb went off. Yeah. No, but it was, it was amazing. I mean, work there, did I Did you think go and visit him? Y'all are not even friends. Nobody came. Nobody oh, came. Ian came. Ian, Ian, Ian was he flies for free. Yeah. yeah, but it was nice enough to he he Every managed time we to get on a flight. Mario, Mario that, uh, said, "Oh, there are bombs going <laughs> off." So it's just, none of it sounded inviting, you know. No, it's a stunning country. It's a stunning yeah. country with stunning people, um, and I'd go back in a heartbeat if and when I can, right. um, which isn't now. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. So it how? Was a, so what happens in Myanmar for advertising? But well, that's different to Sri Lanka. Budgets are bigger. No, I mean, yeah, yes, uh, budgets are bigger. Um, <laughs> budgets Danu, are bigger. Think of a change. But you know, Danu, it's it's interesting. The 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 young people of Myanmar sort of almost skipped a generation when it comes to technology, right? So you won't find a, a, a CRT monitor, you know, in Myanmar. They never had that option. The dial-up internet connections never existed oh, really? there because they went from. Nothing? Having nothing to like to Wi-Fi and super fast. Speed. Absolutely, you know your uh, iPhones, your Samsung. They sell more Samsung smartphones and uh, Apple smartphones in Myanmar than they do in Sri Lanka. So you, just you, on pre-order alone. So you took technology to Myanmar like the caveman <laughs> brought fire to the world. Yeah. <laughs> Te technology brought me there actually. Yeah. But no, it was amazing. And just so in now terms of going its, back, in terms of where, well, I hope not. I hope not. They will introduce it again. For yeah. Hopefully <laughs> not. But their influences are so diverse, you know. They, they've got Thai influencers, they've got um, Korean influencers. And because of that, brands also sort of want to aspire to be there, be there you know, and, and sort of be on platforms that are relevant to young people in that country and, and, and sort of change their tone of voice and what they want to do, take a, you know, take a risk. And that, of course, is, is good for us in advertising because we get to explore the different storylines and the different sort of messages. And I like developing markets. I enjoy developing markets. There's a lot more to uncover. There was a time in advertising when it comes to the creative side. Mm. Uh, you, like, you know, they'll give a, they'll be like, okay, we need to come with a campaign for this. And the creative people will be like, smoking under the tree, sleeping on a couch. Like, we are thinking. Now, there's none of that is there. Because now the agencies are like, okay, if you don't give it at this time, Never mind, I'll just go to another place. Because the options are so much. Now being artistic about it has reduced a little bit. Would you agree with me on that? 
I think the creatives still smoke and drink under the tree. That is true, but they that can't still take happens. seven days to smoke and then come up with a line and be like, they came up with the tag. I line. think what's happened is that a lot of people have branched off on their own. So you've got the big network agencies, but you've also got lots of boutique agencies that are run by people who mm. used to be in the networks, who now just decided, you know, I just yeah. want to cut the bureaucracy and the red tape and do my own thing. And by doing that, they've managed to, you know, obviously deliver clients. Variety and uh, yeah, meet, meet clients and on their deadlines, but also in terms of the work that they do. Right. Um, okay. Would you ever get into advertising here? Not now. Not at the moment, no. Did you earn in dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Right. I just want to know. Myanmar, what's, what's the currency? Yeah, what's the currency? It's actually a chat. Mm. A chat? Spelt with a K. K Y A T. A chat. <laughs> and no, we were paid in chats. <laughs> really? Yeah. But a lot of chats. <laughs> 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 Wait, how, how many chats to a rupee? Yeah. Right now. Oh my God, it's going to be really sad. <laughs> that, that question changes, Matang, based on... No, but on tell, tell us today, yeah, okay, today. Yeah, just roughly. It's about 100 chats to a rupee. What? 100 chats to a rupee. We are, we are weak <laughs> next to a chat as well. <laughs> no, we are greater than the chat. You're greater than the chat, but... Yeah. Are, oh, right. Yeah. We are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then 100 fine. chats to a rupee. That's Finally, just got that's bigger, right. someone, big, <laughs> bigger notes and bigger denominations, but that's great. What's what's the biggest chat denomination? Ten thousand. Okay, so then <laughs> yeah, it's okay, fine. Okay, let's get into a break. Uh, are we getting into a break? Oh no, we are getting into a game called Yes or No. So this is a very simple set of questions. You may think it's very simple, but we really come to know the real person within. Are you comfortable with your legs up? Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> He's trying to cover his booty exposure. <laughs> <laughs> but you will lose weight now, now that you're fasting. Contrary. That's, you, you put on weight when you're fasting. Really? Yeah. Why? Because you're Because I don't hit the gym. And you eat like in the night. Yeah, you eat at the wrong. Which but, is on but, the fifth if you floor of Ishraq's house, by the way. Huh? No. I said Ishraq's gym is like on the fifth yeah, yeah, floor true. of his house yeah. or something like yeah. that. Your fridge can save everyone's. <laughs> 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 we have some stories that we were to ask. <laughs> we will speak about when we do I finish this competition. All right, uh, this game. Do you enjoy spending time with your family? Good. Do you have a secret talent? Really? Anything is a talent, Mario. Okay. It's not a secret. Everything. Okay. Have you ever had a bad breakup? Oh. Hmm. We can talk about that. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'd rather talk about seek my secret talent. <laughs> <laughs> what is the secret talent that Mario has that you know that he doesn't know? Mario doesn't know. Oh, it's your secret talent. It's my secret talent. And? I can rap. No way. Yes, I can. I, 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 I just, like in the last year, I've become a rap god. That's a lie. Your face doesn't have anything rap Come about. Come on! Just People bling. don't believe me. <laughs> just a piece of paper, I'm sure. <laughs> have you ever felt like you are surrounded by people who are toxic? Uh, yes and no. Yeah, I'm like in the middle. What do you feel about this interview? <laughs> toxic, toxic or not? No, it's no, no, no. lovely. Good. Then it's brilliant. Thank you. Can you allow your uh, Can you allow your lover to take a phone away from you for a week, and they then have it? Mm. Maria has nothing to hide. Yeah. You? I, I mean, as long as I'm not working, I don't mind. Okay. Would you ever get tired of a relationship if the partner wants so much more attention than what you give? Oh, really? Well, what is the answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. You? No. Oh. I like attention. Yeah. So I'll want and take. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. Can you sell one of your kidneys for money? Or would you sell one of your kidneys for money? Depends on where the money is going. Well, for gas. Good cause? For gas. <laughs> I'll say yes, yeah. depending on where the money is going. You have two of the kidneys. Yeah. You don't need them, no? Both. Yeah, you don't need both. If you drink enough water, one is enough. Yeah. Are you sensitive to other people's emotional feelings? 
Mario, be honest. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Can you live a day peacefully without your mobile phone or would you be anxious? Uh, how Can you live you without mo mobile phone for a day? Probably not. Uh, no. Would you be anxious? Mm. Yeah, me too. Can you run naked around the neighborhood if you were offered money? Or would you? Yes. No. Nobody's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> Not my neighborhood anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and my neighborhood has nothing except cows. They'd be like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> I must say, that's. Yeah, so I don't think that I'm going to have... Actually, these questions are not great for me to come to know you all. But anyway, it's okay. Uh, we do have to speak a little bit about um, Ishraq at Home. It's a chapter of its own. We're going to be doing that when we do come And it's time to get into some dirty conversation. Mario, you have been on stage most of your life, like you have mm. always loved performing, acting. Um, do you enjoy it? Would you recommend more people to come into it? Or do you think it's not what it used to be anymore? I mean, I can speak for myself, though, ah, no, but right. everything that I am, I think, is a result of being on stage. Just because the confidence you get, the, the comfort levels that you have of standing in front of people and talking, which is essentially what I do for a living, um, comes from just being comfortable on stage. So, and that's just one of the benefits, you know. I mean, there is so much of work that goes in um, behind the scenes that builds a lot of aspects of uh, an individual's character. I mean, Ishraq will agree and I think theatre and has been used as therapy, theatre has been used in so many different uh, um, areas of you know uh, building and bridging uh, social divide. What would you tell parents it's who are oh, Send them, send them because they learn to interact especially in this day and age where you know kids are glued to their devices um, and, and their screens. Just to get out there and get out of their comfort zones and just to explore. I mean kids need to explore. I mean, uh, our entire education system is structured to prevent exploration, you know. Um, and theatre was one way, and that's what probably hooked me at a young age, you know, apart from the fact that I emulated my brother and I wanted to do everything he did. Mm. Um, but once I was there, the fact that you made friendships and then there's a sense of creativity that comes in, which is probably what's sort of sustaining me and, you know, a lot of the people around me uh, who are in the same sort of field of creativity. It all comes from there, learning from people, from all the directors, from all the you know seniors that we've acted What's with. What's the worst thing that has with. happened to you on stage? Most uncomfortable I, thing? I got a nail jammed in my foot, uh, one of the workshop productions. It was about two days to opening night. And generally, Jerome builds these gigantic sets. Mm. And so the last couple of days before, after we move into the event, this was, I think, for Blood Brothers, 2007. It was literally blood. There was blood because I basically <laughs> took a step off stage and I stepped down onto a plank that had a nail um, jutting out of it and that went at least a couple of inches into my foot and uh, that was rather painful. For sure. Uh, Ishwak, as Sri Lanka has been quite tensed in the last few years, especially when it comes to religious views, uh, having a name that is like, you know, easy to identify as Shrak Wahab. Businesses, they've all targeted at one time for being Muslim. How was it for you? And especially after the Easter attacks, there were so many things that happening. How did you handle it? Were you ever told to your face? Did people have very strong opinions about it? Yeah, I think uh, for me, the biggest, the, the strongest uh, opinions against that, <coughs> funnily enough, came from, from people I was in school with, mm. Danu. They all and just turned in just yeah, one go. I mean, not, not all, not all, not my closest friends, but random people who was, you know, there are these WhatsApp groups that says St. Peter's College 99 batch and there were some guys on that who were fairly racist, you know, and there were lots of it who, who were against it. Uh, thankfully, our business, I think the clientele that we have, they were above that, 
you know, so if at all they were only more supportive of us in those yeah. situations. Because they have known you all for who you yeah, are. Yeah, and well, it, was, it, was, it yeah. was beautiful, you know, to see that people, you know, when they come to buy the jewellery, they don't just buy the jewellery, they buy the jewellery and leave a kind word with it, you know, like saying, you know, we, we don't believe any of this or, you know, things like that. So that was, that side of it was fantastic. And, and even though we had What did you learn during that time? Because, you know, I, I know of a family that was living close to us and uh, he told me, the people who I thought were my, were my friends who have been to my house, eaten, just took him off a group. Yeah. For the only reason he was Muslim. Yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Because in 2009, I was going to fly to the States, right? So I went for an interview to the US Embassy. And I walked in and they interviewed me. And then that lady said, OK, your visa is approved. You can come and collect your passport in the evening. So I walked out of the embassy and I was waiting for the car to come and the security guard comes running up from behind, you know, I can hear someone huffing up and he taps me on my shoulder and says, they want you back. So I'm like, okay, what? So I walk back in and this same lady at the counter, they just bring me in straight and she sheepishly asks for the form she gave me, takes it back, fills in some other form and gives it back to me and says that your visa will not be ready in the evening. So I was like, why? what? Why? Why did you just approve it and, and then, then let me go out of the... I mean, what if I had just gone off? What if I had, my car had already come? What were you going to do? You know? So I, I insisted that I wanted to know why. So she reason. said it was because of my name. Right? So it took six months and they cleared it and I got the visa. But, but it took he, six months? It took six months. It took six months. But now, you know, uh, they, they gave a five year after that. But, but, you know, Danu, after that, I was ready for anything. You know? And the, the turbulent times since 2019, has taught me tolerance. It has taught me tolerance. It has, people will speak out, you know, they will be uh, hurt, but you have to tolerate it. Because you, 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 maybe if you put yourselves in their situation, you will feel the pain. I mean, the, the day of the Easter Sunday attacks, I was at Fox Hill, I was racing, you know, I was suited up near my car, waiting for the race to go when we heard that this has happened, right? And then when all the drivers came and said, we don't want to race, you know, I was, I was one of the first, I said, let's stop this race right now. I, I'm agree with everything that, that, that you all say. So uh, you, have to, you have to stand with the masses, you have to be tolerant. I mean, sometimes you have to understand that, you know, you're a Sri Lankan, but I'm a minority in this country, you know, and, and uh, uh, you have to be tolerant. I think that's important. That, that makes everything work better. Mm. And also you'll be able to like justify to your system. So it's not going to be too painful. Yeah, and also, you know, uh, people say, oh, this, there's this whole thing about this, you know, Sharia law, you know, but that's, that's actually people not understanding the religion properly, mm. right? Because in Islam, it says that if you are in a country, Sharia teaches you to embrace the laws of the country and practice the religion accordingly, right? So a lot of people don't understand. They're like, no, you know, I'm a Muslim. This is Sharia. I can't do what Sri Lanka says because, you know, Sharia. That's wrong. That is completely wrong. Hmm. And if you, yeah, well, good that you said it because we didn't know about that. Yeah, exactly. Why are you laughing, Marie? No, because I'm learning stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying stuff. listening to well done, actually, that's Ishraq very... educate us on, on what's right. Huh? I'm just educate. enjoying being educated yeah. on what's right. That's true. And actually, that's a viewpoint a lot, lot, lot of people will see. Yeah, not, and, and actually, the, that's a viewpoint that a lot of, lot of Muslims don't mm. even have, you know. Mm. They're, they're like, oh, you know, I've got to put Sharia before, before Sri Lanka. It's a viewpoint not that at all. not a lot of people care to learn. Yeah, yeah. true. true. Uh, your racing career. Fantastic. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Who is the better one out of the family? <clears throat> You, your brother, your father. My dad's the best, ah, okay. but I'm the best after him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You just wanted to save face at home, no? Yeah, you know. But personally, you think you are better than him? Who, my dad? Mm. No. No. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. Have you been in the car while he raced? I've been with Javid. Okay. And how was that? Like, was your kidney in your mouth? It was fun. I mean, I, I enjoy fast cars. Oh, I've really? never driven one as far. Well, I, I've driven one <laughs> pretty fast and that end up in a la lamppost. <laughs> 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 ah, that's where you nearly died, right? Where the lamppost fell onto the car. Extremely responsible, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> was that because you were driving fast or you tried to cut because there were dogs? No, I was avoiding the dogs. The dogs. But never mind me, I was just glad I didn't hurt somebody else. That in is the process. true. That is true. But you kinda nearly died like you were. True. 
Yeah, that also. Mm. You had a lot of things happening at that time. The fish tank fell on you, you sliced your leg. Yeah. Like I, I was infamous in the hospital because... You were just there always. No, because when I went in for surgery, because I basically had a couple of tendons that were uh, severed off by the glass. Mm. So when I went to get my stitches removed, they said, ah, And then they all had a big joke and a giggle over the fact that it was me. So I, I was in a lot of pain because, yeah, I mean, they were taking stitches out of my, 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 my knee after two weeks. And that was not a pleasant experience, but they yeah. seemed to find it very funny. So clearly, yeah. the word got around that some imbecile had come into <laughs> hospital. Just didn't know how to clean the fish fits. tank. Yeah, true. Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. Did some digging, actually, the pages are boring, but anyway, we found a few pictures. We want to ask, what is the story behind it? Mario, you're flexible. I suppose. <laughs> it's more dexterity, no? No, it's also could be used in any form. <laughs> I was taking a picture. I was taking a picture of a, a water buffalo, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Udavalave. We used to, we used to go to Udavalave. We used to go to Udavalave a lot because uh, <laughs> my brother used to do his. Um, I think he did his thesis uh, on 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 the human elephant conflict. So we used to go there a lot. So. Right. Uh, this going back to school, how many times have you done it? Just once. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had a whole back to school thing. You yeah. know, you got into shorts and shirt. You and went in shorts. You already even go in white pants. No, we didn't because we, we went in shorts. Blue shorts and a white shirt. <laughs> oh my God. No, yeah. That's Chris, right? Who is yeah. yeah. Chris Angelo Hills Suranjit and Suranjit. Yeah. Right up there. Oh. Good time. <laughs> that was, must have been some years ago. Yeah. Eight times. I just wanted to take your way back in time. Like, how long they Is that me? Yeah, that's you and that's Ishra. You all are doing like a Baywatch kind what of situation. What the heck? What, what was that trip, man? <sighs> I can't remember. I don't know the other people there. You can take a closer look. <laughs> you might not want to show that to your wife, Ishra. <laughs> no, I that? think that's Susanna <laughs> behind. And Shane. I think and he yeah. Oh, this is this is a this is a this is a a trip we did all the all the friends. But I can't remember what the hotel was. You were married at that time? Ishra? Yes. Ah, yes. good. Yeah. I can see uh, Ian and Shani at the back there. Yeah, and my wife, Susanna, is there as well. <laughs> He's like, my wife is yeah. there. And there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's a long time ago, no? Makeup is supposed to help people. What is this all about? <laughs> That's from 2006, I think, Oliver. I was supposed to look scary, so... They don't need to put the makeup, so... <laughs> Mario, uh, from your very young age, you've always been very unhappy. Why is this? You this ever is smiled? True. This pictures. is true. It's true. I've actually. Uh, this picture is a, Look at a, 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 yeah, a good one. See, everyone else in the Mario family is smiling except myself. Mario made it fashionable. You're just like, why? <laughs> Did you have friends as a kid? No, actually, not in candy. I was left to myself and my goats. <laughs> I'm happier there. Yeah, you're happier. I'm there. happier there. Maybe this was the last photo. Of, of the smiling <laughs> of the day, <laughs> but that's, that's your brother, me, right? Me and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the socks, the brown socks. Yeah, uh, Ishraq, I really want your wife to take notice of this picture. Uh, where is your eye focused? Ah, on the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Which jewelry? <laughs> because she doesn't seem to be wearing anything, but you seem to be very focused on something so else. The problem with these missing they are so tall, you know what yeah. I mean? And, 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 your and eye I, have, I have this huge, big uh, traps, you know, because I work out and stuff, so I can't <laughs> lift my neck up too much. <laughs> if you didn't know, I would have never known. Because you were starting from there all the way up. <laughs> Picture was taken at the wrong, wrong place. So, um, I know fashion has been around, has always been changing. I really want to know, when was this fashionable? <laughs> what is it? I know that sari is horrible. Not the sari! No. <laughs> God! <laughs> I'm going to get kicked out when she watches that. Yeah. No, 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 I know, I know. It's uh, a jacket. 
Yeah. What's, what's that? They have four buttons. I know. You know, that was a Hong Kong tailor. <laughs> and <laughs> he, he's dead and gone, God rest his soul. I don't yeah. know why he, he thought it was a good idea. And you buttoned all four. Yeah. And this in front of St. Teresa's, right? Yes. Yeah. No, St. Mary's. St. Mary's. No, uh, but was the one on uh, Laurie's Road. St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Mary's, yeah. Yeah, that was after pilgrimage to Mecca. So you have to shave your head. Right. It's compulsory. Yeah. Yeah. Because all his profile pictures are with his wife. Yeah. Just, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> uh, a dear friend. Oh my God. Oh God. So that was after the pilgrimage. We came to Dubai, <laughs> visited yet, <laughs> and and uh, I I took somebody's glasses because everyone said now you and Ian look the same because you have no hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll wear the glasses and we take a picture. Right, it was on the same trip. It was on the same trip. Mario, a moment of smile. Yeah, small one. Yeah. I mean, you can't blame me considering the company I'm keeping. <laughs> that was, so those were this the only... This is your failed batch friends. Those were the... No, no, I was the failure. They That's were the what ones, I'm saying. They failed. were lucky enough to, to take me in. But that was the only trip uh, they made to Myanmar. That's actually Myanmar. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Ah, that's why you are happy. Hospitality. So the idea of this Nildia Pokuna, there's a nil Nildia Pokuna there as well. So ah, it's really? not that special. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good picture, actually. It just reminds me that I have some muscles somewhere, <laughs> somewhere there. That okay, so what is this picture, picture, please? No, all of you are half naked. Would have been so. Yeah, it's at a river, so we would have gone for a bath. Uh, no, but what are you all doing? You all are posing as God. Char, it's God. Okay. And, and the rest of us are basically, I mean, I'm not even doing anything there You're doing usual. nothing. I'm like just standing there for the picture <laughs> as usual. <laughs> Take my picture. Who is that? Is that Darshan? Oh. <laughs> it started early. I had nothing to do with that. That was basically, I mean, I look okay. Aya looks ridiculous. But That's uh, Aya? Yeah. <laughs> And I think he just decided he wanted to dress me up as something because he wanted to dress up as whatever it is. You look he's angry. Dressed up as. I would have hated you as a classmate. Why? You would have just been miserable. <laughs> it's a cute picture, Danu. You can't deny it. I don't know why that's on on my social yes, media. Yes, and it's also place. your profile picture at one is time it? in your oh. life. Yeah, you have been really short of. At programs. one point in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I probably felt like that. I'm going to give this to you guys, so you all can like remember this show and me. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, school life, um, do you all think school kids have the same memories that we made in school? Like bonds that we have, especially now with COVID, there, like no school. I think they will. They will. I, I, my, my daughter's turning 16. and I can 16? 16. And you are not even married? No, no. Yeah. You, how old were you when you got married? 25. We are old, Anu. We are old. Even though we look... Uh, <laughs> no, you all don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> you all don't look it. 16, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, so I, I see that even through this whole COVID thing and studying at home and all that, you know, her close connections with the friends and they're doing some of the same stuff that we were doing back in the day, it's different, mm. it's different, it's more technology, it's all Instagram and stuff like that. Mm. You know, we never had a gram, you know, we didn't even have email. Yes. Yeah. God, what did we have? Uh, nothing actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hope kids have the same connections. We had, we had landline calls. Yeah, yeah we you had know what I mean? Sneaking, oh, so sneaking landline, landline calls. phone calls Nobody's to looking girlfriends. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are like super expensive to like yeah. make. They used to be, landline. and especially yeah. uh, long distance phone calls Correct. were very expensive on mm. the landline. But no, I mean, I really hope they do have the connections yeah. that, that we have. Um, and they're not sort of enslaved by the, by, by the screens. Mm. Um, not to say that they're not important. I mean, there is a certain amount of advantage of having things, you know. Uh, in real. No, I mean, there are certain things that oh, are course, advantages in terms of having uh, yeah, on a screen. Like, and you have to, and, and you have to, to, find a you know, you have to adapt um, yeah. to technology. But I hope that human connection is not lost on them. Because um, we had a blast in college. Yeah. So Ishraq's home. <laughs> uh, so do you wash clothes? No. Exactly. <laughs> uh, your wife washes clothes? No. It's she has a washing machine that looks like it came out of the Terminator's Correct. movie. That washing machine. Big, it, it's, it can store all of us in there. <laughs> yeah, it can. Yeah. <laughs> and who uses it? None I of y'all. No, she's got another Terminator 
trained washing <laughs> trained machine. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the T1000, maybe right. we call her. <laughs> Fine. And what's the other? Uh, the gym. The gym. Only you use it? No, actually, I I uh, I get my kids to do a Muay Thai class once a week. Okay. So get them to use it as well. Do you all have any reason to go out? Yeah, we do to to watch a race. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to know because this whole conversation from Ian, that is his classmate uh, Mario, uh, not so much with you, but Ian especially, is broke it down to me saying that this washing machine can suck you in and never put you out. It is that big. Did you all buy it by accident? Because do you all wear so much of clothes every day? Uh, that that is true. My wife, she'll go through about four changes till she finally settles on one. It's like a Hindi movie. So you're going to wash all of them just because she tried it on? I don't know. You should ask Kishra how he goes upstairs. How do you yeah. go upstairs? I take the stairs, but <laughs> my son, he takes the lift. <laughs> Fine. That's amazing. Forget the washing machine. Huh? Forget the Forget washing the machine. machine. <laughs> Forget the washing machine. But you have to understand, you know, yeah. that I, I you have I, thought I, about old age. I, ex no, not about my old age. I wanted my parents and you know my wife's parents when they get older, if they can't take the stairs, to be able to come up and enjoy the gym. <laughs> when they can't even climb the stairs, they are going to be just working out on a step. <laughs> Good, good choice. That's amazing. Anyway, I was also the, I'm also the type who takes the lift to the gym. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's cool to like pant when you get to the gym. This is true. It's better to pant when you are in the gym. Yeah, so on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you guys for coming. It has been amazing. Uh, thanks for being so honest, real and so genuine in your conversation. Mario, I, I think I can say that about you as well today. And you talkative. Tried. Mm -hmm. You and tried. You tried to be human today. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that note, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you so very much for joining us. We'll see you with another episode of Date with John. Until then, keep smiling. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>